Bello is the nephew of Anthrax drummer Charlie Benante. He had a younger brother Anthony, who was murdered in the Bronx, New York City in 1996. His murder was never solved. Bello has a tattoo on his right upper arm with a design of Anthony's face with the words in memory of Anthony below it. Bello was originally a roadie and guitar technician for Anthrax, but later replaced Dan Lilker soon after the release of the band's 1984 debut album Fistful of Metal, and has held this position ever since excluding a brief departure in 2004, during which he was a member of Helmet, another New York City-based metal band. His stint in Helmet was brief, as Bello reunited with Anthrax the following year, and has remained in the band since. Bello has referred to Paul McCartney, Steve Harris, Gene Simmons, Geezer Butler, Geddy Lee, Chris Squire, Tom Peterson and Jaco Pastorius, as influences and inspirations to his bass playing. He mostly plays bass finger style, but also uses a pick on certain songs. For example, he can be seen using one in the videos for Room for One More, and Fueled he also used a pick most of the time during his stint with Helmet. In May 2021 Bello announced the forthcoming publication of his autobiography Fathers, Brothers and Sons, Surviving Anguish, Abandonment and Anthrax. The book's co-writer is British author Joel McIver, and it includes a foreword by Gene Simmons of KISS. In the early days on Anthrax, Bello used an ESP precision-styled bass, possibly a 400 series that had EMG P bass and J bass pickups. ESP released this bass as a signature model, available only in Japan in the mid to late 1980s. Sometime during the late 1980s he switched to an ESP Surveyor P bass, which had nearly all the same specifications of his previous basses, but with a finished headstock. He began using Fender basses during the beginning of the 1990s due to a falling out with ESP, which according to ESP Vice President Jeff Moore was due to miscommunication. He began using Fender P basses around the time of persistence of time until the release of his signature model. Bello had a signature model Fender Jazz bass. The model combines a Fender Aerodyne body with a precision bass width neck, alder body wood, and a mix of precision and jazz bass pickups, along with non-standard custom chosen hardware. Pickups used on the bass are Seymour Duncan SPB3 precision bass pickup in the neck position, and a Samarium Cobalt noiseless jazz bass pickup in the bridge position. Although Bellow's personal bass now is equipped with EMG HZ passive pickups which Bellow prefers as the output is a lot louder and he gets a lot more punch. Bellow also had a signature Squire electric jazz bass, it features PJ style pickup combination, and a skull inlay body graphic. The especially Frank Bellow and Limited FB4 are both based on the ESP Vintage 4 model, customized to Bellow's specifications with a black satin finish and black anodized aluminum pickguard, ebony fingerboard with black perloid block inlays, EMG PJX active pickups, and a Goto bridge. The bases feature bolt-on construction at 34 scale, an alder body and maple neck with 21XJ frets. There is a writing of Rip Dime Bag on Bellow's bass guitar Fender model for tribute to deceased Pantera and Damage Plan guitarist Dime Bag Daryl, which he inscribed into his bass the night of his death. After constant touring with Megadeth's bass player David Ellefson, Bellow switched to a Hartkey LH-1000 and High Drive cabinets. On tour he also used a Sansamp bass driver for a grinding tone for the Got the Time song. Previously he used Ampeg SVT amplifiers and cabinets during the early 1980s, 1990s and 2000s. During the late 1980s he used a rack system that relied on a Yamaha PB1 preamp and Crown Powerbase 1 power amplifiers. While in helmet Bello used Fender 800 Pro amplifiers with a Sansamp bass driver D distortion pedal.